Thanks for tuning back in to our coverage of the 2024 World Crokinole Championship Singles Competition, and we've got a bit of a heavyweight battle for you here. If you have been paying attention to the Crokinole scene over the last year and change, you'll recognize Josh Carafiello, the 2023 Ontario Singles Champion. He has been all around the top levels of the game, and he's playing against a relative newcomer, but far from a uh, far from a green player. Sean Haggerty was actually the top scorer in the preliminary round of this tournament with 71 points over 10 games. Carafiello gave up the first miss in the first round. And now has to work from behind. Oh, but he rings that off a peg. Huge opportunity for Haggerty to build a lead, which he nails. Oh, and Carfiello almost scored that off a peg. You see how thin the margins were between him missing it entirely and almost scoring a 20. Carfiello pushing again for the follow through 20, but it just wouldn't go. Haggerty tried to stick that one back, but I think he's left a touch 20 on. Yes, well made by Carfiello. And Haggerty could have really turned the pressure on if he had uh, if he had made the 20 there, but a great double by Carfiello keeps him all sorts of in. The missed touch 20 gives Carfiello an opportunity. He'll need, this is a tricky shot, he'll need to follow through 20. But if he misses it a little bit to the left, his other disc could help him. Chance for the 20, it goes wide and rolls into the 10 if that stayed in the 15. Haggerty would only have had a shot for the tie. As it is, he can take the simple takeout for the two points. Really nice touch 20 and great power double by Carafiello. But not enough. Haggerty starts out round two with the open 20. And Carafiello finds it. These two players are both capable of scoring open 20s in bulk. But Carafiello is again the first to miss. Although he may see an angle 20 off of this. No, oh, just bounced out and maybe helped out by the red disc. And that touch 20 really, again, just turns the pressure up to 11 on Carafiello. Angle in 20 opportunity here. No, not uh, not quite the line or the power, I think. A good roll out there. I'm sure he will have wanted the off, but that's not a bad position. Two shots left each. As these two are playing at breakneck speed, Haggerty just takes a second to check the 20 count and wisely takes the one on the outside. Garfiello can't roll in all the way, so Haggerty just needs a takeout to win the round, which he gets. Great pressure applied by Sean Haggerty in these two rounds. He's showing why he was the preliminary round top scorer. Carfiello will get uh, get us started here in round three, trying to get uh, we're trying to right the ship a little bit, and he'll have an opportunity as Haggerty loses the shooter on that rollout attempt, and doesn't remove the Carfiello disc either. So a big chance. An open twenty would have been huge, but it lipped out. Haggerty looks for a double and nails it. Cool, calm, and collected. Good touch twenty there by Carfiello, but answered with the open offering by Haggerty. Oh, Garfiello will not like that as he rolls that a little more to the outside, but Garf or, or Haggerty rather gives him the opportunity. Follow through just missed and left a hanger opportunity, which Haggerty nails. He's up a 20 with hammer. Good answer there by Garfiello, and that one comes up well short. Good bounce there by Garfiello. Nice action off the pegs. And Haggerty rolls it over nicely. Just a tricky follow through 20 here. Just off the line. How many misses have been off by millimeters for Carfiello in this game so far? Regardless, though, it is 6 0 to Sean Haggerty. Some just really great control around the 20 hole that, uh, that Haggerty's been demonstrating so far. Great open 20 to start from him, and Carfiello is there for the answer. I mentioned earlier that both of these players are capable of scoring in bulk, as now they are uh, proving me right here, I think, as Haggerty scores his fourth in a row to open up this round. And Carfiello is the first to miss again. Good takeout over the hole, but maybe left a little close. 
It's pretty far away, but a really nice shot to drop that 20 from Carfiello. Haggerty is right there with the response, though. And since Carfiello was unable to secure the takeout with his last shot, he had to leave an open one. Oh, my goodness. Potentially cataclysmic miss there for Haggerty. He's still in an advantageous position up the 20. But Carfiello can't secure it. A roll away here. Oh, it's overhit by a fraction. And Carfiello has an open 20 to salvage a point out of this match. He really would quite like this one, and he gets it. Good nerve by Carfiello at the end of a difficult game to score that open 20 to come away with at least a point. A really strong game by Sean Haggerty. That will put him in a really solid position to advance out of this tricky round of 16. Stay tuned for more coming out of this top 16 round.